Hello, my dear students. How are you doing? I hope you are all fine and that you have a good time with your family. I hope that you are keeping track of your English subject and that you are studying well and doing your homework. So please don't lose track and be always aware of all that is new. Today we are going to have a new lesson and a new unit. We are going to discuss a new lesson in unit 10. You can find this lesson in your student book on page 96. So please open your student book so that we can learn together new vocabulary that we will use inshallah in sentences and in our writing subjects. So please let's start. Before we start, I'll tell you the lesson outcome that we will have at the end of this lesson to learn and use and, in, and use a new vocabulary and that we are going to read a diary entry about a school careers fair. Now here we have a new vocabulary that we have to read them and we have to memorize them. So let's start. And please repeat after me. The first one, coral reef. Repeat, coral reef. Excellent. Ecosystem. Endangered. Keep track of. Marine. Shell. Specialize. Q. Reptiles, dive, aquarium, again, coral reef, ecosystem, endangered, keep track of, marine, shell, specialize, Q, reptiles, dive, aquarium. Now, we have the English English meanings for each word. Let's start. Coral reef, it means an area, the top of which can sometimes be seen just above the sea. It means in Arabic, shi'ab murjaniya. Ecosystem, it means all the living things in an area in which they affect each other. But in this lesson, ecosystem means all the living things that live in the sea. So, they live in an ecosystem. يعيشون في نظام بيئي. Ecosystem means نظام بيئي. Endangered. Endangered means seriously at risk or in danger of being harmed. Endangered is an adjective. It means للخطر. Keep track of. Keep track of means to keep fully aware of or to be informed about or to make sure that you know what is happening. Keep track of in Arabic means يتعقب أو أن تكون على علم تام بما يجري حولك على إدراك تام. Marine. Marine means related to the sea. In Arabic, it means bahari. Shell. It means the hard outer covering of something, especially nuts, eggs, and some animals. The outer surface of the, the egg or the outer surface of the turtle's back. The turtle's shell. Specialize, it means to study or work in a particular subject. When you specialize, when you specialize in history, it means you are a specialized person in history. متخصص, specialize, it's a verb, يتخصص. Q, it means a line or sequence of people awaiting their turn to be attended to or to proceed. A line of people waiting their turn. Tabur. Reptiles. 
It means the group of scaly animals like snakes. If you remember, it means... Excellent! So, lizards and snakes are reptiles. Dive, it means to swim underwater. Aquarium, it means a building that holds sea creatures. So, it means a place in which we can see sea creatures, right? Okay, don't worry. Now we will have some pictures that illustrate each each difficult meaning. Here, try to match each picture with a suitable word. The first one is ecosystem. The first one, sorry, is coral reef. Coral, coral reef. Where is the picture that illustrates the word coral reef? Excellent, this is it. Well done, a great job. Now, ecosystem. I said the meaning of ecosystem is the living things that live in the sea. Everything that live in the sea, we call this ecosystem. They live in an ecosystem. Yes, this is it. The last one, a marine biologist. A marine biologist is someone who is interested in studying the living things we find in the sea. So, where is the picture that shows the someone who is specialized in studying sea creatures? Yes, this is it. Well done. Now, let's move to the next, to the next slide. Here we have the word shell. So, where is the picture that illustrates the word shell? Yes, this is it, because it means the hard outer covering of something. Yes. Okay, now, Q. What is the word that means a line of people that, or who are waiting there, who are awaiting their turn? Fabulous, this is it. Aquarium, I said, aquarium means... A place that holds sea creatures or a place that preserve sea creatures. Yes, this is it. Great job. You're fantastic. Now, we have to answer question number three in your student book. You will answer this question depending on the words that we discussed previously. Let's remember them. Coral reef, ecosystem, endangered Keep track of marine shell and specialize. If you don't or you are unable to answer them, don't worry. You will be answered. You will be able to answer them after reading the entry or the diary. So let's try to answer them. The first one: the hawksbill turtle is hunted for its beautiful. The hawksbill turtle is a kind of turtle, is a kind of a turtle that lives that lives under the sea. So, they hunt it for its beautiful. Okay, two. George is studying history. He wants to in the history of Latin America. Three. It's difficult for one teacher to all the students in the playground. Number four, the divers were taking photos of the color, co colorful what? Five, do you know which species of rhinoceros are? Sharks and jellyfish are some of the animals in these waters. Number seven, insects have got an important role in the... Okay, now we will have... Or we will read a diary entry about a school career fair. Now we have to listen. At first, then we will answer some questions. So please try to follow the audio. Let's start. Two. Listen and read. The 18th of April, 2018. Dear diary, let's be honest. Most days, school can be pretty dull, but today's careers fair was incredible. If only every school day were so exciting. There were people with cool jobs. A pilot, a professional footballer. Of course, everyone was in a queue to speak with the footballer, 
but not me. I spent my time talking to Dr. Janine LeBlanc, a marine biologist. I loved her story so much. I wish I had spent the entire afternoon talking to her. Dr. LeBlanc showed me photos of her underwater expeditions and told me all about her work. She studied science and then went on to specialise in marine biology. In her job, she gets to travel around the world, swimming in the coral reefs where sea turtles live. She's working to protect the endangered hawksbill turtle, which has lost a lot of its population in recent years. I couldn't believe it when she told me these reptiles have been living in the seas for a hundred million years. They're really important for the ocean's ecosystem. But people are hunting them for their eggs, their meat and their shells. Dr. LeBlanc wishes people understood how important these animals are in maintaining a healthy ocean. Dr. LeBlanc's work sounds difficult, but our talk made me want to study marine biology. I wish I were old enough to go to college now. It would be so exciting to dive all the time. Of course, Dr. LeBlanc works in an office too. She told me that she put special devices on the turtles to keep track of their activity. Then, she watches their movement on her computer and analyses the impact that human activity has on them. Talking to Dr. LeBlanc inspired me to study marine biology. And she told me that I don't have to travel to be a marine biologist. I could work right here in the local aquarium. But I would prefer to travel and see the world underwater. Okay now. After reading and listening to the diary, please try to answer the following questions. Now, the first question is, which, what is Dr. Jeanine LeBlanc's profession? What is Dr. Janine's LeBlanc, Janine LeBlanc's job? Two, what did Dr. Janine normally do in her job? You can find the answer in paragraph two. Question three, why did people hunt reptiles? Why did people hunt them? Four, what is Dr. Janine's wish? Five, what is the writer's wish? The last question, is the writer interested in marine biology? Okay, now we have exercise number four, which is on the same page, page 96. You have to write C for correct, I incorrect, or DC for doesn't say. It means it is not mentioned in the text. So, number one, the writer thinks school can be dull. Two, everyone was in a queue to talk to the marine biologist. Three, Dr. LeBlanc has always lo loved turtles. Four, Hawksbill turtles had been living in the seas for one million years. Five, Dr. LeBlanc spent eight years studying marine biology. Six, Dr. LeBlanc inspired the writer to study marine biology. Seven, the writer will have to travel to be a marine biology. And now, before you move to the homework, I just would like to sum, to sum it up to you. The diary is mainly about a girl who is interested in nothing but marine biology. She got inspired by her doctor or by the doctor whose name Dr. Jeanine, that she loved her stories. This doctor is, 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 sorry, is specialized in studying creatures. I mean marine biology. And this doctor is trying to protect the endangered creatures. But sadly, people hunt them for their eggs, meat, and their shells. And Dr. LeBlanc wishes that people understand how important these creatures are for the ocean's ecosystem. Finally, the writer wishes to study marine biology and to travel and to see the world underwater. Now here you have a homework. 
Please go to your workbook on page 68 and do exercises 1, 2, 3. I do appreciate all the hard work you are doing and I must say thank you very much for your hard work and please keep on track with me and if you have any question don't hesitate to write it down and to ask me about it later. Thanks for watching and please be safe.